This is Tom Norvely with CitizenshipQuickly.com. I wanted to talk to you about uh, real estate properties in St. Kitts. Uh, this is an area it's called Newtown. Uh, it's actually a, uh, an older area that's close in to uh, the, uh, it's actually part of Basseteer and uh, where it's adjacent to Basseteer. They're all, they're all kind of interconnect here. And um, I'm going to just kind of, I'm on my bike here, so I'm going to kind of just ride down here and show you. Uh, these properties, you don't, it's real funny, you, uh, you almost never see these properties on the market. And I'll tell you why. They're close into town in St. Kitts, but some of these properties you can get well under $100,000 if you can ever see them come up on the market. It's real rare you ever see these come up on the market. Now, I've heard some negative thing from locals that, you know, uh, some crime and stuff has occurred in here. But uh, uh, I will tell you, uh, this area, I've seen less properties come on the market than any, any other place in St. Kitts. Uh, probably because it's close into town and these properties you can get for literally under $100,000. And the uh, great thing about St. Kitts, you can get everything done in about four blocks. It's amazing. You, if you got to do, uh, pay bills and stuff or whatever, you can park your car and just walk four blocks and get everything done in St. Kitts. You don't even need a car. All you got to do is get your bicycle and you can get everything done just riding your bike. It's that close on everything. So it's... Uh, 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 this is a area that's adjacent to St. Kitts uh, and, and the Basseteer area of St. Kitts and it's, um, uh, it's real close in. You can walk to everywhere that you want to go to. It's that close. We're going through this coronavirus scare right now so everybody's kind of wearing masks. But St. Kitts, uh, as of the, the date right now, which is almost in May the 1st, well, we haven't had one death here. They, they really handled the situation really nice. They, they shut everything off really quick. They had some a few cases, but nobody died from it. Uh, I think there were like 15 or 20 cases, but that's it. No one died from it. I don't even think anybody ever even got on a respirator. But uh, you can see here uh, the little town of Newtown, which is adjacent to St. Kitts. Now these houses are not fancy, but uh, and you won't see a hardly any of them come on the market. This is the uh, cricket field here. You can see it's a real big uh, field here, and uh, you can see the cruise ship off in the distance there. Well, actually, that's a looks like a barge. Yeah, the cruise ships aren't coming in now this time of year, uh, but. Uh, there are houses literally that come on the market here. I've seen them 40, 60, 80,000 US. But they don't stay on the market very long. It's real rare you see one though. Real rare. But if you want to be close into town uh, and literally not have to have a car, you can do it here. It's just uh, the neat thing about this. And. Uh, so anyway, if you've got a question or comment, put it below. And if you want new videos as they come out automatically, hit the subscribe button to the right of your screen. And uh, you'll get those automatically as they come out. I'm still going to walk around here and show you some other areas here. or right around so you can kind of see this area. The only thing you're going to have to deal with, though, is once in a while you might hear some roosters in the morning. You can see some right there. And there's another one running across the road. That's the thing you won't have in the resort areas. And that's that's one problem you have in downtown areas like this. You don't have the regs, regulations in place like you do in places like the US. You will have these roosters downtown. So that's some that's something you might have to get either uh, uh, I can't deal with that myself. <laughs> so everybody's different on what they can deal with. And uh, these are the uh, 
clinics they've got. If you're once you're 62 years old, you uh, and your condition, your health care, and these clinics are free. It's nice. You can see there they're rebuilding this one here, and then the dental clinics right next door. And once you're 62, excuse me, it's uh, it's 60, uh, 62 on the medical. Okay, you have to go in for a medical uh, problem. It's free if you're 62 and over. If you're under that, the cost is real inexpensive. And then you can see over here, that's the dental clinic. If you're uh, 60 years old and over and you're curtitioned, you don't uh, have any cost on this. And they can't do everything. They don't root, do root canals. They don't do, uh, they do stuff like fillings, cleaning, things like this. But uh, the major stuff you have to do outside the clinic. But you can see it's got, uh, you know, the uh, medical facilities for people. They need that. I'll just kind of ride around here and show you. All of this joins into Basseterre which is the main city of St. Kitts. And it's, uh, it's all joining together. This is a gas, uh, a Venezuelan gas company, sold gas. But one thing that's nice about St. Kitts is no income tax, no capital gains tax, no inheritance tax, no estate tax. Uh, now obviously, if you're a U.S. citizen, you'd have to relinquish to get around all taxes your citizenship there in the U.S. If you, if you got tax ties to Germany, France, or anything like this, you have to relinquish. You need, you need to get out of your residency there totally where you qualify legally for whatever... Uh, uh, taxes you, you owe for that country but you need to do whatever you need to do in place to get that done you can see all these homes they have little stores here and uh But uh, you you got a lot of uh, sort of uh, if you if you really want to get around your your high taxes, uh, this is probably one of the best places in the world. The problem with the Cayman Islands compared to St. Kitts is the Caymans uh, they don't have income taxes, but the prices their import duties are so much higher. Everything's more expensive in the Caymans here, and buying food and stuff you don't have that in St. Kitts. And you can get the citizenship here like in four months. Uh, it will take you years and years and years to get it in the Caymans. And they do have a residency by investment. We have a video on the Cayman Islands too on their residency by investment program. But you can't you can't get it in four months. That's the problem. Here you can get the citizenship in four months. Also. Uh, if you uh, if you want the um, if you're not interested in this country, if we we deal with about 74 different countries that uh, a residency by investment and citizenship by investment countries uh, other than this one, but very few of them check all the boxes like this one because you can get dual citizenship on this. Uh, you've got dual citizenship here. You you've got no uh, um, language requirement. Uh, all you have to do is uh, invest in a property. But the properties, these properties, will not qualify for citizenship. I'm just showing you this area. You know, you can buy here in these areas, but it won't qualify for citizenship. That's the key. Uh, you have to uh, you have to get in a qualified citizenship area to get that done. See how small some of these homes are? Yeah, 
And these are real inexpensive homes and a lot of them need really a lot of working fixed up. This is not in the resort area. I'm just showing you this because uh, I like to show you other areas of St. Kitts. And uh, this is one of them and it's called Newtown. Now you can see here it, it, it's right on the, the, uh, the road that's across the street from the ocean. And the cruise ships come in over here in Port Santee. That's Port Santee over here. And uh, Frigate Bay is off in the distance here, one of the resort areas. But this is the cheapest area of St. Kitts. If you want the, the, the cheapest place in St. Kitts that's close to town, it's Newtown, and there's another area called McKnight. I'm going to do a, a video on McKnight. Like I said, these are these are lower income areas, but if you want to live in St. Kitts and you're really on a tight, I'm talking about a real tight budget, and you want to move to a place that uh, has no income taxes, no capital gains tax, no estate tax, no inheritance tax, and you like to live cheap on the hog, this is the place to do it right here. But it's a lot cheaper than places that are pure tax havens like the Cayman Islands, Bermuda, um, yeah, places like this and also in Antigua. I would rather live here than Antigua. Antigua is another pure tax haven like St. Kitts. But uh, if you want to know more, just go to our website www.citizenshipquickly.com and um, at the top of the website Hit the part that says questions, fill that out, send it back to us, and we can help you out. Uh, like we deal with just tons of different countries. We deal with almost every country. In fact, we're going to be actually getting around to every country in the world. Because almost every country in the world has some sort of program. And we'll be telling you about that program with that country. You can look at the ones as they come out, too. And I'll look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.